What's up, it's a friend name of 99 here. We're gonna be doing a great video today. In this video, we're gonna get started with them. How you will be able to transfer you, the files from your computer from your computer to your mobile or from your mobile to your computer by using no data cables or no cables at all, but just using your Wi Fi and making an FTP server in it. Yes, so today in this video, we're gonna use an application name Wi Fi Pro Server FTP. That's kind of name, yeah, this is Wi Fi Pro FTP server. We're gonna use this application over here. We are not using another application like Xiaomi represent as a share me application over here, as I can show you over here, share me application. We're not gonna use this application because this application don't basically give you the right every right or every permission in your mobile. So it's like this that if you make an FTP connection by using this application. So it's gonna give you the error that if you create a folder in your Etsy card or your mobile, it's gonna give you the end of the permission that it is not allowing you the perfect permission in it. So this application surely don't give you the all of permission from your mobile, even though you're allowing it to get the permission. So we're gonna use the alternative application over here, alternative application of the Wi-Fi Pro FTP server. The link of this application will be given down below in the description, you can download it from there. Although the setting is very simple, the root folder means the folder which you want to share or which you want to connect in the FTP. So if you go on the custom, at the starting, custom folder is the starting, it will give you like allowed access to the SD card or not the download folder or anything. If you go and allow the SD card folder so it's giving you the right to make an FTP server and sharing your SD files on your monitor or on your PC on your laptop without using any cable just by using an FTP server. After selecting everything from the setting you just have to go and just tap on the start and you will get a notification in your mobile over here at the top that your FTP server has been started. Here is the server URL, so we can check it on the computer and let's see how it works. So guys, as you have discussed, the FTP URL is in our device, so we are going to insert it in the Google Chrome. Why am I inserting it in the Google Chrome is because uh, it's going to give you the confirmation whether your FTP server URL is working or not. So we are going to type over here FTP, the same thing which uh, is going to be written on your mobile FTP URL. This two 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 one. The digit over here, as you can see, this digit over here, this is the port number which you can even adjust at the setting of this program. Application. So this is the port number. We're gonna give them enter over here. So as you can see that I have successfully entered into my SD card and can access every file from there. But this is kind of a boring, like uh, this is kind of an HD access type of thing where you can access your website files and all. So we don't want this. We want an actual type of file sharing thing which we can actually create a folder or do which uh, you can do while connecting your data cable to your mobile and the thing which comes in your computer. So the, if you talk about this, so that has not a big ritual or not. We just gonna come on your my library on your, your computer, come on this option to this PC, right click and as you can see over here this option, I'm gonna zoom it so you will see more clearly. This option over here, this option at network. So we're gonna click on it. It's gonna ask for consider I never get all network visit. Choose a custom network location. Okay. Over here you're gonna insert the network 
which you have created, which means the FTP server URL. So we're going to copy it off and directly going to paste it over here. Remove this. So go to next. This say log on as anonymously, or if you have created a username or ID, you can set it from the Wi-Fi Pro FTP server application on your mobile, and you can add the password user name over here. So I'm logging in as anonymous. Next, uh, this is asking you the name of the network. So I'm just gonna give over here the mobile, and gonna give next, and yes. So as you can see, I have successfully entered my SD card, the thing which I wanted to access, I can access wirelessly by using the FTP server which I just created by using the Wi-Fi Pro FTP server application. As you can see, it has my all files. Now, the biggest problem in other application comes that you don't really get the whole permission. So, if you're gonna create an application if you're going to read a folder in this folder you're going to get a error in sort of like that it's going to give you an error like you cannot you do not have the whole right or whole permission even though you have given every right and everything a permission from what to that application but you won't be able to create any folder over here because it will keep asking you to create a uh, permission and in this you don't have to do that so if I'm gonna show you I'm in a folder of the music and I'm just gonna go here and do it. create a new folder FTP is quite slow so it's gonna take a few time okay so the folder is as you can see over here the folder is created as I just didn't do nothing, I just go over here, get to the new folder and it eventually gives me the folder created and if you want to see this in the mobile device again, I will show you in the mobile device and in the music in the folder, you have to create the new folder device. So just wait to switch to your mobile, I'm going to show you the folder which I created over here will be created in your mobile. Here we're going to access the my storage area or you can see you can directly access the storage area so we're gonna exit in the storage area to see the folder which I created by using the FTP server from a PC so we're gonna go over here to the storage or to basically go to the file <laughs> how convenient okay so we're gonna go to the SD card which we have shared on the FTP server you can go on the music and as you can see over here the folder which we created on an FTP account on the PC has successfully been created in your mobile device and you have every right to just delete it from here and if you let him get deleted from your FTP account on your PC when you're gonna refresh it so as have you seen that we have just deleted the folder which we have created in the music and you can see the folder over here is still here so we just gonna go and go give it a quick refresh it's gonna get every files in it it's gonna give it the real free and as you can see over here the folder which we created and deleted from the mobile device has been successfully deleted from your laptop means like the FTP is working fine great without any network collision or anything and yeah keep this in mind few might be might try to do this but FTP only works on the same network because you are creating a private network within your private network so yeah it's gonna work on the same network so thank you for watching this video i hope you liked and enjoyed it please like this video subscribe my channel hit the bell notification icon to get notified for every single video thank you very much All the pain.